Hey guys, it's 9.17 a.m. on September 20th, 2017, and I have found a series of personal weather stations here that are recording from San Juan and other locations in Puerto Rico, and I have found something very important. As of three seconds ago, now this is, again, it's 9.17 a.m. on September 20th, 2017. Right now, there's supposed to be a hurricane ravaging this area, and I found a personal weather station that is reporting as of 14 seconds ago, people, look at this, 14 seconds ago, we have wind speeds of 35 miles an hour. Winds from the southeast, gusts of 56 miles an hour. Now look at this, scrolling down even further, we're going to take a look at the graph of the wind, and we're going to see something absolutely diabolical. That the highest wind speeds have recorded, we actually have hurricane strength reported as of 7.07 a.m. in Puerto Rico, at 7.07 a.m., but look what happens. After 7 o'clock in the morning, those wind speeds start dropping dramatically. 56, 67, 48, 34, 61, 53, 46, 25 miles an hour, and as of the last reporting time at four minutes ago, we had wind speeds of 54 miles an hour. I think this is why we are not getting any radar feeds from our standard feeds. I think that IntelliCast and Weather Underground have been forced to shut down the general radar feeds, but for whatever reason, we are still getting radar feeds from the personal weather stations. And here we go, guys. This is the uh, actual first time I've caught anything that looks like a hurricane in my last, literally, literally, like, it'll be 14 days tomorrow that I've been doing this like every single day, except for when my channel was shut down for a day, thanks to uh, YouTube's really weird, uh, I don't know what the hell's going on here, but anyway, my, yeah, my channel was shut down last week for a few days. It's like time is just kind of slowing together, <laughs> but anyway, here we are. Here's our, um, Here's our readings, 18 miles an hour wind speeds with gusts up to 56 miles an hour. That's why this thing isn't showing up on radar. They've taken it down so we can't see it. But thanks to this person who runs this personal weather station or this, this location, I don't know what this is. It could be the airport for all I know. Um, oh wait, let's look about this personal weather station. This is awesome. I, this is beautiful information. Cale Ismael Riviera, personal weather station, hardware by AccuRite Pro Weather Center. This is exactly where it's like, it doesn't say whose it belongs to, but God bless them for, for putting this thing up, because here we get to see, this is a smoking gun, guys. They are lying to us. Supposedly this area is being obliterated by a hurricane, and although, although I have to admit, for the first time I'm actually finding independently confirmed 75 mile an hour winds, they haven't been added to the map afterwards. They haven't been reported by the news. They haven't been, you know, doctored by NASA. We're actually getting an independent confirmation that the first, at 7.07 a.m., the wind speeds hit 75 miles an hour. This is the only confirmation I've had in all of this entire series of me doing measurements like this. None of the, none of the measurement systems. You guys can watch. I probably have 50 hours worth of videos up now. Maybe that's an exaggeration. But I have tons of videos showing I've been doing this for 14 days almost, and I have not gotten one single independent confirmation of sustained winds that reach hurricane speeds. So here we have a confirmed hurricane has hit Puerto Rico at 7.07 this morning, but wind speeds are half, half of what they're reporting to us, guys. Exactly one half of what they're reporting. This is a crime against humanity. We have got something majorly wrong here. Please copy this video upload it, share it, save it, whatever you have to do. This is evidence. This is real evidence at the moment, real-time evidence showing that the news is lying to us. This hurricane, as it is being described and is showing to us, does not exist. Let's see if we can get any other confirmations of this because this is just a, a complete fraud. This one doesn't show wind speeds is this one. Wind speeds here. Is this the same one? No, this is Sa Sabana Hoyos. Let's hear it. Look here. Let's see if they report the same thing. Because this is, this is, as of 24 seconds ago, the wind speeds here 
in Sabana Hoyos are nine miles an hour? Let's make sure I'm still in Puerto Rico. I did this a minute ago and ended up in the Dominican Republic. So let me just make sure. Yeah, we're still in Puerto... Look at this, you guys. We're still in Puerto Rico. What the heck? What the heck is going on? Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Let's see what their wind speeds... Okay. Their wind speeds peak. So we might be seeing them in the eye of the hurricane. But if it's the eye of the hurricane, it's only 45 miles an hour. And the wind gusts are at 45 miles an hour. You guys, this is a fraud. This is as of September 20th at 9.08 p.m. It is now 9.22 p.m. Let's see. Yeah. Here we go. 9.18. Four minutes ago, you guys. The wind speeds here are only like 30 miles an hour, 29 miles an hour. You guys, this is a complete fraud. This is right on the ground in Puerto Rico. Oh, my gosh. This is ridiculous. All right, I'm going to try this one because this is where the, uh, supposedly, where the eye of the hurricane supposedly is. Now, see, none of this stuff is coming. These are personal weather stations. None of this stuff is coming through the official weather stations. This is absolutely nutty. Now, let's see. I don't think these, oh, yeah, these guys do wind speeds too. Let's see. It's only a graph, though. So the graph will take us to 8 o'clock in the morning, and it looks like the wind speeds are just under, I can't really tell. It looks like maybe 90. So this would be, if I could actually read the information there. But this stopped recording as of 2024. 20, so this is old data. Well, it says it's updated at 830. I can't really, I don't really understand how this one is to be read. Yeah, I don't, I don't. It does show that it's it, it got up there, though. I don't know if that's 60 or 40. I can't really tell. So this one is not that useful to us. <clears throat> All right, let me go back here and see if we can find another one. All right. How about... Do I have this one? I probably have this one up already. Yeah, I just did that one. It's not showing the wind speeds on that one. How about here? There's two of them here. Yeah, none of these are showing wind speeds, as far as I can tell. I mean, I can double click on it, but we got the one up there at San Juan, and that's beautiful. This is not showing wind. Yeah, this one's not showing wind. Okay, so we have confirmation that there's a storm there. It's absolutely nothing what we've been told. It explains why nothing is showing up on radar. But now these are personal weather stations, guys. This is a, this is a real crime against humanity here. They're, they're perpetrating a fraud that is disgusting. It's just disgusting. So that's our 915 update. And we have real measurements on the ground that show that this is not anything like what we've been told. This hurricane is supposed to be blitzing right through here. All right, guys, I'll keep you posted.